Are you moving to the Colorado Springs area but prefer the suburbs for either affordability or just a quieter lifestyle where you're not constantly hearing the sounds of the city? Maybe you want more space? Well, today I'll be sharing all the neighborhoods around Colorado Springs so you can find the best area to live in. I'm also gonna leave a list of available homes for each area in the description so you can find the perfect place. My name is Iris, your Colorado real estate agent, and we're starting with Fountain, Colorado. Fountain is located south of Colorado Springs and Fountain is a charming and friendly community located about 15 minutes or so south of Colorado Springs depending on where you're driving from and it's known for its small town feel and scenic views of Pikes Peak. This place offers a mix of suburban life and access to nearby outdoor adventures. Here are a few things that you need to know about this growing city. Fountain is ideally located off of I-25 making it convenient for commuters to go back and forth. Maybe they work in Colorado Springs or they're stationed at at nearby military installations like Fort Carson or Peterson Space Force Space. Actually, you'll just be taking powers up that way, but you have I-25 for convenience. With a low population of around 30,000 people, Fountain provides a tight-knit community feel while still being big enough to offer those amenities and services that everybody needs. Now the school district is Fountain Fort Carson School District 8, which has a strong reputation for supporting military families and providing high quality education. And you can find all of this on the Department of Education's website. I've mentioned this before in other videos that I used to work in um, Fountain School District 8 as the HR person. And the amount of work that they put into making everyone feel at home, especially with that high turnover because of the military, um, has been really phenomenal and kudos to School District 8 for all the work that they do. The district includes a range of elementary school, middle school, and high schools, as well as specialized programs for students. It's known for its focus on student achievement and community involvement. There are a handful of schools on base like Carson Middle or Abrams Elementary for convenience of the military members with kids. Moving on to the things to to do for those who love the outdoors fountain has a few parks and trails perfect for walking hiking and biking metcalf park is one of my favorite parks it's a local favorite um, as well everyone loves it they have picnic areas playgrounds and sports fields i saw a skate park the last time i went um, so that is something that is not newer but it's an add-on that they've recently put there and the fountain creek regional park and nature center is there with wildlife viewing opportunities and peaceful trails we actually went to one of their nature walks one year. It was a scavenger hunt and we had to check off all the different um, birds, the turtle, if you saw a turtle you had to mark that off, types of trees and things like that. Then at the end they served the kids pizza and it was really a fun time for our family. Fountain also has community events throughout the year like the Fountain Fall Festival which is basically a parade, live music, and local food vendors. Also with Colorado Springs being nearby, people who live in Fountain will have easy access to more entertainment, to shopping, and dining. Now when it comes to to housing. Housing is more affordable in Fountain with the median home price being $440,000. There is a mix of older historic homes, homes with acreage on, um, on the rare occasion that those do come up and some newer homes in the area. Why should you consider Fountain? Well, before we get into that, if this video is helpful or any of these videos are helpful for you, please make sure to like the video. It really helps me out a ton. But Fountain offers a more relaxed pace of life compared to the Colorado Springs area while still being close enough to enjoy everything that the region has to offer with that welcoming community, great schools, and tons of outdoor activities. It's an attractive option for families, military um, personnel, and anyone looking for a peaceful place to call home. Now the next suburb we'll talk about is Widefield. Widefield, Colorado is a charming community as well, located south of Colorado Springs that offers a mix of suburban living and easy access to the great outdoors. Here's a look at what makes Widefield a great place to live. Now Widefield is situated about 15 minutes south of downtown Colorado Colorado Springs, making it an ideal spot for those who want to be close to the amenities of the city while enjoying a quieter, more laid back atmosphere. It's also conveniently close to Fort Carson, making it a popular choice for military friends and family. Now the school district in Whitefield is actually school district three, and it's also known for a strong sense of community and commitment to student success. The district has a range of different programs from academic to extracurricular activities that are aimed at fostering well-rounded development. I 
actually went to Janatel when I was in middle school and it was a really good experience. Of course, that was forever ago, but I really have fond memories of that neighborhood where I grew up in Whitefield. It's also where my younger brother went to school and I really don't remember having any issues there. They've got several elementary, middle and high school families. Families in Whitefield have access to quality public education um, as well. So that's great to consider. Now there's no shortage on things to do um, that are outdoor activity related in the Whitefield area. This area is home to several parks and trails, including Fountain Creek Regional Park, which offers hiking, bird watching and picnic places and the other things that we mentioned before. But one thing that's special about Whitefield is the community park, which is another local favorite. They have playgrounds, basketball courts, a splash pad, swimming pools, sports fields. Fountain also has a splash pad, but I don't think I mentioned that before. There's also this thing called disc golf, which I've never played, but every time I go out there, there are people playing this disc golf game and they have these little things located throughout the park. And I really love this park. When I was a kid, we used to catch crawdads in the little stream there, but since then that's dried up, unfortunately. Now, if you prefer a more relaxed pace, Whitefield has a lot of little local restaurants, shops, and community events. Um, you're also just a short drive from the dining, shopping, and cultural scene in Colorado Springs if you want something a little bit more. Whitefield has a small population as well, but continues to grow at a steady pace, moving further and further southeast. This suburb has a friendly vibe with many military families, young professionals, and even retirees that call it home. Now, when it comes to housing, you can find a home right now at the time of this video. The median price is $390,000. However, there are a ton of new communities that are um, being built right right now and that is driving up the price of um, the median home price all the way up to 475,000. So when I updated the search to include, you know, all those communities as well, it does make that jump up and that's the 80925 and the 80911 zip codes. So um, just keep that in mind. If you're looking for brand new that, you know, that's why that kind of goes up a little bit higher, but there is a mix of older homes and new construction, like I said, being built further east. And if you want a list of those homes, you can email me below, or you can check out the link below this video. Widefield has a small town feel with a welcoming close knit community. Residents love enjoying a slower pace of life compared to Colorado Springs while still having that easy access to the big city conveniences obviously with all these suburbs, they're all gonna have that, but the natural beauty that everybody loves about Southern Colorado. It's the perfect option for those looking for a balanced lifestyle close to nature and convenience of the nearby city amenities. Now the next suburb that we're gonna talk about is Monument, Colorado. Monument is a cute little town located about 20 minutes north of Colorado Springs. And you may have heard of the Tri-Lakes region, which is basically Monument, Palmer Lake, and Woodmore. Well, all three of these have lakes, but Woodmore, you can't swim in, but that's where you get that Tri Lakes name. Then you have Forest Lakes, which is a bigger looking lake than Monument Lake, but maybe it's not as shallow enough to be considered a lake. I have a whole video about Forest Lakes, so I will link that below, but I have no idea why it's not, maybe it's newer, I don't know. If you do know, maybe you can drop that in the comments. I didn't really do enough research to figure it all out, but there is a lake there in Forest Lakes. Forest Lakes is another place um, around monument, but with their lake, you can only get into it if you're a community member. So uh, when I was out there touring some of these homes in the million dollar range, we had um, some people out on the water. They belonged to that community. They were fishing, they were paddle boarding, all that fun stuff. Now you can still do all those things at the Monument Lake and you don't have to be a part of that. Monument has a perfect blend of small town living with easy access to city amenities. So here are a few things to know. When it comes to the school district, Monument is part of the highly rated Lewis Palmer School District 38, which is known for strong academic performance, athletic programs, and community involvement. Again, you can go to the website to find all of this information, or you can visit the um, Department of Education. It's going to break down everything that you need to know about a school's performance. But District 38 serves Monument and surrounding areas, making it a top choice for those that are looking to settle down in a community with highly rated schools. And there's a ton of things to do also in Monument. There's a lot of different activities for nature lovers, history buffs, and, you know, 
tons of things for families to do together, but Monument Lake is a popular spot for fishing, kayaking, and picnicking. You can also go ice fishing out there, which is pretty crazy. Um, I've never been ice fishing before, but uh, a couple years ago I went out there, walked on the water, it was pretty intimidating to walk on a sheet of ice. And there were plenty of people out there ice fishing. You can go hiking and mountain biking at Mount Hermon and check out the stunning views of that entire area. The Santa Fe Trail, which is a trail that runs through the area, is also also great for walking, biking, and horseback riding. And as you go into town, you can enjoy boutique shopping and local restaurants, as well as seasonal events like the Monument Art Hop and the 4th of July Parade. Lots of cute little old fashioned towns. Um, we did go to the cafe out there and it was delicious. I highly recommend it if you're ever in town. Now, the population is still very small. Um, I looked online and it said there was a less than 10,000 people. So it's really small and it gives that tight knit community where you walk in, everyone's friendly. The owners of the restaurants are, you know, speaking to you on a first name basis. Love that. It's an ideal place for those who appreciate a slower um, pace of life, but still again, want to be close to the city. Now, when it comes to available homes and monument, the median home price is $814,000 and you get really big lots and beautiful houses this way. The location is just amazing. Monument's location is one of its key, like, attractions. It's located just 20 minutes north of Colorado Springs, 50 minutes south of Denver. So it's perfect for commuters that need access to both cities. Maybe you're working in both places or maybe some, I've got friends that work in Denver. Sometimes they'll work in the Springs. Um, they work for the same company, but they're traveling commuting. Um, the town is also near the United States Air Force Academy, which makes it a great choice for military friends and family. It's really close to the base. And with that strong school system, all the outdoor, um, outdoor activities and the proximity to the Springs, Monument is a great place to call home. Now, the next suburb we're gonna talk about is Woodland Park. Woodland Park is a charming mountain town that's 25 miles northwest of Colorado Springs that offers a peaceful lifestyle with stunning views of Pikes Peak. Now, here's a quick overview of what you should know about this scenic town. Woodland Park sits at an elevation of over 8,400 feet and is known to be the city above the clouds. It's a quick 30 minute drive from Colorado Springs along Highway 24, making it a dreamy location for those who want a more relaxed mountain lifestyle while still staying close to the amenities of a larger city. The school district is Woodland Park School District RE2, which is a well-regarded uh, district for its strong community involvement and commitment to student success. The district involves several elementary schools, one middle school, and Woodland Park High School. And the families here appreciate the small town feel and personalized attention that students get along with the range of academic and extracurricular offered. Now there is a little bit of drama in the area over some recent situations that have happened, but I'll let you Google that up for yourself. Or if you want to drop it in the comments to let people know, that'd be great too. But the population and community, they have about 8,000 residents and it's just a close knit friendly community atmosphere. The town has a beautiful balance between mountain living and access to everyday things like shopping, dining, and medical services. So you'll have all that. You'll have, you know, the hospitals that you need, but you'll still be kind of like in the mountains. It's also a really cool spot for people who just love being outdoors, who enjoy the town's slower pace and the natural surroundings. A lot of people like to go there to retire. And it's just 30 minutes from Cripple Creek. So if you like the slot machines or the craps tables, this would be convenient for you. Now, when it comes to things to do, there's a lot of stuff. Outdoors, obviously the typical hiking and biking as you would in Colorado, but there's Dinosaur Resource Center. Um, and then you have Mueller State Park that's close by. You've got Pike National Forest, which is gorgeous. People go there to cut down trees. Legally, you have to have a permit, but um, it's a great place for to get your Christmas tree. And it's really a hallmark city, I think. That's my opinion. But you can also have access to skiing and snowshoeing trails and all this really fun Colorado outdoor stuff. And then, um, um, the Pikes Peak Historical Museum. You can learn more about history and the region's mining past, which is very fascinating, I found. I never thought I'd be into that, but when you go into, we went to Victor and we saw all these 
uh, the mining stuff and the history and how small the little houses were that they stayed in. It was a really neat experience. So I recommend you doing that at least once. There's a place in Victor where you can go see Rita the Troll. It's really fun, but there's fishing out there, um, fishing spots like Manitou Lake and Rampart Reservoir, perfect for seasoned anglers and for beginners. And then you have a golf club out there. Um, so you can go golfing with the mountain views in the background. Lots of community events that are hosted, arts and crafts shows, holiday festivals, farmers markets in the summer. And the median home price in Woodland Park is $615,000 at the time of this video and that's what's actively for sale. Again, I'm gonna link everything um, at the bottom of this video underneath in the description so you won't have to go searching for it. So why should you choose Woodland Park? Well, people love Woodland Park because of its proximity to Colorado Springs, highly rated schools and the abundant outdoor activities. Like this place is the poster child if the poster child was a city for Colorado living. Woodland Park is an attractive option for families, retirees and anyone just wanting that quieter mountain lifestyle. Now Peyton, Colorado is a charming rural community located about 25 miles northeast of Colorado Springs. It offers a peaceful country lifestyle with the convenience of being close to the amenities of a bigger city. Here's some key things to know about Peyton. Peyton is part of school district 23 or District 49, depending on how far out you are. Also another supportive community, small class sizes, um, a personalized approach to education, focusing on student success, a ton of different programs from early education to high school. And for families that are looking for a smaller, more intimate learning environment for children, Peyton is great for that. Um, also look into school district 49, a little bit bigger of a school, but it really just depends on how far east you are out living out um, there, that's gonna give you a different experience on schools. But you know, a lot of the schools in Colorado Springs and surrounding areas are pretty good schools. You go online, you see all their ratings, and I look at other cities and I compare ratings and I, I think we're doing pretty good. There's a ton of things to do out in Peyton. For those who love nature, again, it's a Colorado um, community. Residents can explore nearby parks. We've got the Homestead Ranch Regional Park. There's a lot of hiking trails, picnic areas, and scenic views. And Peyton is also close to several equestrian centers. So if you like horseback riding, um, you're a horse and riding enthusiast, then Peyton would be great for you. If you want um, some local shops, you can go into town, um, participate in community events that are often held there. And the population in Peyton is also a small community, tight-knit people. And then Peyton, you know, kind of goes into the Falcon area. And so we're blending a lot of the Falcon Peyton features. But if you go into the Falcon, into town, it's probably about 20 minutes from Peyton where you'll get access to the city life and all that stuff. Peyton is about a 30 minute drive to Colorado Springs. So it's an attractive option if you don't mind commuting and you can enjoy the peace of a quiet country lifestyle while still having access to the larger job market market, shopping, dining, entertainment, all that fun stuff. Peyton is a great place with its welcoming uh, community, outdoor recreational opportunities, and the convenient location. It's definitely a hidden gem in the greater Colorado Springs area. And I don't see this not growing even bigger. So if you're looking for real estate there, take advantage of the opportunity because I firmly believe we're gonna be moving further and further out that way. Now, Calhan, Ellicott area, Colorado is the next suburb that we'll talk about. It's located about 35 miles northeast of Colorado Springs. It makes it a peaceful rural lifestyle with easy access to amenities of a larger city. I kind of grouped Calhan and Ellicott together because they're so small and they're both located on the east side of Schriever Space Force with a very small population. But Calhan is perfect for people who are looking to escape the hustle and enjoy a tight knit community. If you want country life, Calhan is it. The school district is Calhan School District RJ1, which provides um, education for students from preschool all the way to 12th grade. The district prides itself on offering personalized attention and small classes and a supportive learning environment. There's just not as many things to do in city life um, out there. Even though Calhan is smaller, there's a lot of things that um, it does have. One of the town's highlights is the Calhan Paint Mines Interpretive Park which is a natural wonder featuring vibrant multicolored rock formations that date back thousands of years. It's a great spot to hike and get some photography in. Calhan also hosts a county fair, a fun event for families that includes rodeos, 
food and local crafts. And there are nearby opportunities for camping and outdoor recreation, which is great for nature lovers. Now you can find a home with a median price of $525,000 in Calhan, but again, you're probably gonna be getting some acreage with that, so it's totally worth it. The final area is Black Forest, Colorado. This Colorado Springs neighborhood is a charming rural community located northeast of Colorado Springs, and it's known for the tall ponderosa pines, the tranquil atmosphere. It has a unique blend of country living with convenience to city amenities. It's about 20 to 25 minutes from downtown Colorado Springs, which is the perfect escape from city life, but you can still be close enough for easy commutes. You've got incredible views of the Rocky Mountains and the opportunity to enjoy a peaceful lifestyle in a more secluded natural environment. The latest numbers regarding population had about 14,000 people and growing. So the area is known for lar its large properties, open spaces, and a strong sense of community. It attracts families, retirees, and anyone looking for a quieter nature-filled lifestyle. Black Forest is served by Academy School District 20 and some parts go into the Lewis Palmer 38, the more north you go, but it's one of the top rated districts in the region and you can expect high quality education, a wide range of extracurricular activities, and well-maintained school facilities. That's what it's known for. That's what I've read online. And District 20 schools are known for strong academic performance. Again, you can look all this up on their website and on the Department of Education site. But the excellent support that uh, your students will get, people love um, these school districts. So regardless of its rural nature, Black Forest has so much to offer. It's ideal for hiking, biking, and picnics. This park provides miles and miles of trails through the scenic forest. You've got Fox Run Regional Park located nearby. It's a great place for family outings. It's got trails and playgrounds, a beautiful lake, beautiful views, equestrian activities. And then a lot of the properties there are zoned for horses. So it's a great place for horseback riding, people who want to own horses and keep them on their properties. People love it for that. The Black Forest community comes together for local events like farmers markets, outdoor concerts and holiday celebrations. Black Forest offers a slower pace of life with easy access to nature and the convenience of the proximity of Colorado Springs, making it a very popular choice for those that are looking for that true Colorado lifestyle. The median home price in Black Forest is $870,000 and you'll get larger lots. You can get horse property, you can get lots of extra land for your chickens and all your pets. And it's just a great place to live. Hey, listen, if you need help finding the perfect place to live that matches everything that you need in for your lifestyle, then you can book a quick strategy call with me to see if we're gonna be a good fit together, but also to kind of see what you're looking for. What I do is I put together a three-phase process for you that helps keep more money in your pocket when you're buying your home and I help you buy the right house and I help you do that in a way that protects your uh, investment. You'll get access to all my resources, top trustworthy inspectors and phase three is the acquisition and settlement piece which is my favorite. It's actually getting the house of your dreams at a price that you want and how you're going to set up trash, utilities and all of that stuff, the school registration, which utility company to use. And if that's you, you can visit coloradohomebuyerassist.com. Otherwise, you can dive deeper and watch more on Colorado Springs neighborhoods and living in Culver Springs with the playlist that's popping up next.